Welcome back, Commanders, to the War Academy. Today, we're going to learn some math. Okay, wait, let me, let me rephrase that another way. Today, we're going to increase your chances at success. We're going to make sure it's always you that's charging. We're going to reduce your chance of failure. And I'm going to teach you to see into the future. And remember, overwhelming power does not solve your problem. It just means you haven't applied enough yet. It all comes down to Math Hammer. The math Hammer is very easy to do in your head. And there's a difference between you looking like this guy and looking like this guy. So there's a super easy way to figure out how many dice are going to fail and how many dice are going to succeed in your head. So you just take X out of 6 and then reduce the fraction if able. So for example, if you had a ballistic skill 3 plus unit, that would mean a 1 and a 2 fail, a 3, a 4, a 5, and a 6 pass. Therefore you have 4 passing dice sides, so your fraction would be 4 out of 6 reduced to 2 thirds. To make up for my bad rolls, I usually subtract 1 or 2 from most of my answers because Better safe than sorry. Some people work best with fractions, other people work best with percentages. I prefer percentages, but I can always do both. So here's what each dice roll means as far as the fraction and the percentages. If you have something that hits on a two up, that means five out of your six dice sides are successful. So your number is five, six or 15% as I like to think of it it's actually 16.6 whatever repeating if you hit on threes that's a 33 percent chance to fail technically i just like to do 30 percent it's a little bit easier um also you can do one third of your dice are going to fail or two out of every six are going to fail three out of every 12 depending on how many dice you're actually using you can use bigger numbers so obviously fours are 50 percent fives are a 66 percent chance to fail or a 33 percent chance to succeed uh one third two six however you want to do it Sixes are 15%, and obviously, I just quickest way in my head is I just take 10% of that number and then add half the 10%. That gives you 15% really fast. So, like I said, I always like to predict low because it's a much safer mindset to be in. All right, so say for example, I deep strike in 10 Deathwing Terminators and use the new Dark Angel stratagem to give them plus one to wound on their Storm Bolters, and I'm about to shoot into a squad of five Primaris Marines. The question you're asking yourself in game is, is the stratagem worth it? So let me ask you, before I reveal the answer, if I pop this stratagem, can I even kill these five Primaris Marines? And remember, when you play at a tournament, it's six games long. So how many of those six games did they fail to kill that entire squad of Primaris Marines? So this might not be the most efficient way to do it, but it's what works for me. So hopefully it'll work for you guys. So how my mind is working is I instantly think, okay, well, 10% of 40 is 4, and I need 30%, so 4 times 3 is 12. So I know that 12 are going to miss, so I'm looking at 28 hits. Now with my plus 1 wound, I'm going to need 3s to wound again. So I'm just going to round that 28 up to 30 because it's just easier for my brain. And 10% of that is 3, so 30% would be 9 fail to wound. But since I rounded up to my favor, I'm going to add one more fail to wound. So I'll say a total of 10 fail to wound. So that puts the Space Marine player at a total of 18 armor saves at a 4 up. Since I'm deep striking in, I'm most likely going to be in Tactical Doctrine. Half of those are going to fail, which is 9-ish wounds. So I should kill four and a half marines but i honestly i never roll average i always roll bad so i have to be okay with only killing three marines as well not okay with killing only three marines like that's what it would be on a more low end you have to expect that that's definitely a possibility that could happen but just like how i was expecting nine wounds there's also a chance that i could completely kill the squad i'm not going to rely on that i'm going to hope that i kill at least three anything more than three that's just awesome now without the strat i my brain would quickly go okay 30 percent of 40 is 12 so 28 hits half of 28 since i'm wounding on a four plus now it's gonna be 14 wounds and then half of the 14 wounds is gonna be seven failed saves 
So, you know, I'm without the stratagem, I'm looking at doing six to seven-ish wounds. But, like, if my dice don't go completely in my favor, I have to be also okay with only doing four wounds, which is two Marines dead, without the stratagem. So with the strat, I did about nine-ish wounds. Without the strat, I did about six-ish wounds. So on a good day, the nine-ish wounds one will actually wipe the squad. On a bad day, it's going to do what it did without the stratagem. Whereas without the stratagem, I'm looking at between two and three. If I get super lucky, like I could get four, but obviously I'm not relying on that. So is the stratagem worth it? I think it's great. It means that about 30-40% of the time that I use it, I could actually wipe a squad of Marines or just mess them up till they only have just their sergeant left. So we could also do this the fraction way, which is two-thirds are going to hit, two-thirds are going to wound. So when you have two fractions, multiplying fractions is not actually that hard. Like you, do, All you do is you take the top number times the top number and the bottom number times the bottom number. So two-thirds times two-thirds equals four-ninths and if you convert that into a decimal you'd be looking at a 44 percent chance to wound with each shot that you did so then we take our four-ninths multiply it by one half and that'll give us four eighteenths or two ninths which we then know that every single time a bullet comes out of that storm bolter there is a 22 percent chance that each bullet will actually do a wound against a marine when the stratagem is popped so I did the mental math way, and numbers are not my forte. So if you're some kind of walking calculator or anything who's watching this video go, wow, this guy is dumb with numbers. The actual math of it is 40 times 0.66 means 26.4 attacks will hit. For wounding, 26 times 0.66 means that 17.4 of those shots will cause an armor save. Uh, those armor saves, 17 times 0 0.50, means that 8.72 of those Marines will fail their armor save. So I like my math a little bit better than the actual math, just because it gives me a more realistic idea of what it is I'm actually going to do. So for example, if my answer says that I'm going to do 12 unsaved wounds on average, then the way that my statistics actually work is, realistically, I'm going to do between 6 and 18 wounds, not actually 12. So the 12 being the, obviously the average, but the further I get away from 12, the less likely its chance of appearing is. So if I were in the middle of a game right now, my math hammer told me that 12 failed saves were gonna happen, then because of CP and other abilities that things would happen, I would figure about 10-ish wounds would hopefully go through, but I'm also okay with only getting eight. And that's what you gotta remember is dice skew. I take 2d6. It does average 7, but that 7 actually only appears 1 6 of the time. So to find your range of numbers, you take the average and then divide by 2, then subtract and add to find your realistic range of numbers. So for example, 2d6 is actually 5 through 9, with 5 being less likely than 6, and 6 being more common than 9. So when something has reroll all hits or reroll all wounds, it kind of sucks, but just you'll get good at it. You'll get quick at this. Just, just do it twice. Pop quiz to see if you've been paying attention. You are smart. If it is your turn and you're playing against Nurgle, there's an enemy Mortarian. How far away should you always be from that Mortarian so that you don't get charged next turn? Mortarian has a movement speed of 12 inches and he flies. So that means we know the two dice average is seven. So with dice skew, we're gonna make that a nine. So we need to stay movement plus nine away from him to not get charged so that we're looking at 21 inches away. All right, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I can, I can literally smell the smoke coming out of your ears from all the way over here. It seems complex, but with a lot of practice, it starts to come really, really easily. Every day it gets a little easier. Yeah? But you gotta do it every day. That's the hard part. But it does get easier. <sighs> Everything in 40k needs more explaining. So let me know in the comments what kind of guide I should make to help you.
a brand new channel. So let me know what you think by hitting that thumbs up button.